Hi, my name's Brian, and I bought an abandoned railroad. So it only makes sense that I bought some abandoned railroad equipment. So Graham bought this stuff at an auction, and I, I was very interested in buying it too. But what we're going to do in this video is something that is very difficult for me. I am going to try and shoot a video without me talking at all. If you see me with blue painter's tape over my mouth, it's because I just am really struggling. First thing I'm going to do is take a clipboard and a piece of paper and draw where these hoses go so I can then cut them maybe with a hacksaw. Um, then we're going to lift this engine off. The reason for that is this engine goes with me this weekend for May 21st subscriber meetup at the National Pike Steam and Gas Tractor. Hardest name ever to remember show because it's so long and it's just weird and it's hyphenated but anyway i'm going to take that engine and we're going to see if we can make it run uh the ignition is going to be the hard part i know and at that show there will be people there that will know how to work on this stuff so then with the hoses off the engine off i'm going to take the hydraulic bank off i'm going to take the canron label off i'm going to clean this probably using a garden hose and some dawn detergent touch up flaked paint and paint it i'm going to put it on these jack stands it's going to be up in the air when we go to put the engine back on this will be clean painted etc now this engine graham and i bought this at an auction in pennsylvania on the track cart that you've seen this engine is locked up now is it really? yeah graham and i both saw this engine run but i think i'm afraid it's the pump the hydraulic pump had water in it, oh. so that's the problem. But good news, a subscriber sent me a message saying he had a brand new Harbor Freight engine that he would give us if we paid the freight from Oklahoma City. So he bought it for a speeder that he's not going to be able to, to use. So I think that's what engine is going to go on here. So in this video, I will not speak. I will draw the hoses. I will remove the engine. I will put it up on these jack stands. I will clean it. I will paint it all without saying a word. Do you think I can do it? No. When we start back up, it'll probably be silent without me talking. It seems like the the women in the ETAR nation are usually the ones that ask me to just stop talking and start working. Sounds about right. Less talk, more action. Get to work.
Thank you.